Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today we'll be taking a look at course play on Farming Simulator. Today we'll be looking at how to create a field edge path. I was asked to do this by Matthew McCurdy. I'm sorry Matthew if I've not pronounced your name right, just in case. But anyways, there's three ways of doing, creating a field edge path. One is where before you sow a field of grass, you save the current field edge path because the minute you start sowing, your edge path is gone. The other way, which I think is the easiest, is just to drive around the field to map it out. And then the third way is to completely plow the field. And by complete, I mean leave no grass whatsoever in the middle of it as it will not work. So let's get started. So the first one I'm going to look at is just going to sow a field and save the edge pad before I sow the field. So it's pretty straightforward. You, when you open up your hood, you just calculate current field edge pad and it brings it up. You can see it there, all your blue lines and yellow dots all join in the whole way around. And then all you gotta do is just save it. So this is field five. So then you just save it as field five. Now, what, once you save it, it comes up in here or not there if you go into course generation and you can go up and you will find field five user and that's this recorded so when I saw this in grass that's always there that's now saved there so then I have no problem just selecting all my corner widths and whatever I want for mowing or rowing or tedding or whatever you want to do spread slurry whatever it's saved it never goes away even if the field is sown now I'm not going to sow the field because it's one of the tillage fields and it just is of no use to me to sow it in grass. So we'll just try and find the next machine. Now, this is where I plowed the entire field. Now, it took a while and by right I did it just one track to one plow but one way you can make it easier is using the follow me mod and if you click the the link, the, the annotation there, that'll bring you to my previous video where I showed how to line up two tractors to do the plowing. But that would have been the easiest way to do it would be to use the follow me mod to get two tractors or three, four, or five, how many tractors you want to plow the field. But I plowed it anyways. And one thing I will say, there has to be no grass left, not one little patch in the middle of the field anywhere. And another thing, it does not work if you just do a couple of rounds around the field that doesn't work you have to have a complete field from edge to edge to edge your four corner five corner however many corners but there cannot be any grass in the middle for it to work and as if you see now i can go and calculate my field edge path and it comes up and you can see there i'll just bring up the map big on this field 22 was in grass and it's now in bin tilled and to plow it on. It's not simple. By no means is it simple, but that's how you do it. I can just go along there, click field 22 when I get to it, and you see that there override field 22 edge path list. There is a mod, you'll see it in the description below, that maps out all the f grass fields on Cobra Park Farm map. It maps out all of them so you don't have any of this problem. So I won't bother saving it just in case it changed something. And if you look, I can go up and it goes through all the grass fields. They're all saved on it. If you go to the link in the description, you'll find the mod there. And how you install it is once you download it, you'll get your, if I'm, if I'm correct in saying it, it's course play fields XML file. And what you do with that is you go into your uh, documents, into my games, into farming simulator, into career save game one you go into that and it comes up with all your xml documents on grass growth and wheat growth and whatnot and you just copy and paste it into that and if you already have some fields in a map in a save game save like what i'm after doing there it will over it'll delete all of them just to let you know so you know how to do that now so that's it that, that, that's all there is to this plow the field and it does not work 
if you just plow a few rounds around the outside, I tried it. I did a round and I checked and I did a round and I checked and when I got to six rounds, when I checked it, the game crashed. So I just kept going to the end and I thought I was at the end I checked it, it didn't work. So I went and I did a bit of tidying up and bits I missed and it worked. So that's all you can do if you don't want to drive around the field, which in all fairness I think is the easiest. So we go on now to the last way. I have my tractor lined up here ready to just drive around the field. It's just as simple as that. It's about the easiest way of doing it. So I'm experiencing a bit of lag here now. There's a f I have a few machines. I was cutting silage over in the other two fields. So uh, we'll just have to put up with it for now. But all you gotta do, I just delete that. You just get to wherever you want, wherever you want to, to create the field edge. And you just start driving drive from one end to the other. Now one of the problems with this is the scarcity of points, especially going around corners. And if you want to increase the number of points, you can use your turn maneuver and just click that as you're going around the corner and that lays multiple points. You can do it going around the whole field if you want. It just leaves a more, more of an accurate diagram of the field. But always make sure when you get to the straight line that that is off. Because if it's on it just doesn't seem to do the job right. So, and th that's it. There are the three ways I have went. I spent all this, all of my day today trying to figure out what ways I can do it. That's the only way I could work, find out how to work it. So, that's it. It's pretty straightforward. When you get the whole way around your field, then, which I should be in a few seconds now, just a little bit of lag on it. I even turned down the graphic settings because I was experiencing it when I was cutting the silage there. I just don't know what it is, but sure, no, whatever. So I just drive around. Where you see that, then you just want to, you don't want to be on top of it, just a bit behind it. You stop course, and then you just have to save this as if it was something. It doesn't matter what one of them, I just change it to that. I just always done it. Don't ask me why. But then I just save it. This is field. Uh, I think it's 21. So you just save it down. Field 21. Edge pass. And that's it. I can go then. And if I X that down. And I click. I will go into field work. And when that pops up. I can go down and find my field 21. Oh, there it is there. Oh, I spelled field wrong. I spelled filed. I want it. You just click that. You go into this. You're currently loaded, of course. That's your edge path you're after pulling out. You select your widths based on whatever you want. Your headlands. And that's it. Generate, of course. Up and down your moan. So. That's it. Pretty straightforward. If there's any mods you've seen in this you'd like to get. They're all in the description. If you'd like to see any videos being done, please leave a comment there and as soon as I get to it, I'll get it done. I upload videos every Sunday, or I'll try anyways. We'll see how long it lasts. And that's it for me. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Good luck!